going, imagination's going, so I'm much too slow. It's time to be creative, incredibly innovative, so much to explore. For he are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus, for good works which God prepared ahead of time. Welcome to day one of Virtual Vacation Bible School at Star of Bethlehem Church. This year's theme from Lifeway Spark Studios is Created in Christ, Designed for God's Purpose. When we trust in Jesus as Savior and Lord, He saves us from our sin and gives us new purpose. God gives us good works to do as we follow and tell others about Jesus. Today, we'll be focusing on how God is the marvelous creator. You will go through arts and crafts, music, a Bible story, snack, and recreation that will teach you about God, the creator. Let's get into it. Hello, welcome to day one of VBS. God the Creator. We're going to listen to a story where David praised God the Creator. And you can find this in Acts 13, 21 through 23, and Psalm 104. Psalm 104, a psalm about creation. Are you ready to listen? Psalm 104 is a praise psalm written by King David and it talks about God as a very great God. Verse 1 says, Bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord, my God, you are very great. Now why does King David say that God is very great? The psalm tells us that God is great because He is the great creator of everything in the heavens and on earth. All these things that God has created is called creation. Then you may ask, Where can we see God's creation? What do you think? Well, God's creation is all around us. We just need to open our eyes and to look at the natural world around so us. In Psalm 104 verse 5 and 6 says, He set the earth on its foundation so that it should never be moved. You covered it with the deep 
as with a garment. And verse 8 tells us of God setting mountains and valleys in its place. The mountains rose, the valleys sank, down to the place that you have appointed for them. And so, in verse 24, we praise God and say, O Lord, how many are your works? In wisdom, you made them all. The earth is full of your creatures. This means that God made everything in perfect order, in his perfect design, and he made everything good and wonderful. And that also includes you and me. All of us are also God's wonderful creation. And not only did God make everything big and small, God continues to take care of His good creation. Verse 10 says, You make springs gush forth in the valleys. They flow between the hills. You give drink to every beast of the fields. God takes care of His creation and God also takes care of us by providing food from the earth for us. But maybe sometimes we also see dirty beaches and the polluted water and we may ask, How is God taking care of the earth? It's so dirty. Well, at the start, God gave Adam and Eve and all of us the role to take care of his world. But sometimes men did not listen and they end up destroying the world. But let us obey God and take care of his world as well, okay? And God too in his will continues to watch over his creation. And finally, the psalm tells us about how God controls nature's time by setting the moon and the sun in their place. Verse 19 says, He made the moon to mark the seasons, and the sun knows when to go down. And so when we see the sun rise and set every day, and when we see the moon at night, we know that it is God who makes them go up and come down. Our God sets time in motion. He controls the night and day, rain or shine. Wow! We see from Psalm 104 that God wonderfully created all things. That God continues to take care of all things. And that God keeps everything in order and in time. Isn't God then our great, big God? Yes. And so at the end, King David praises God and says in verse 33, I will sing to the Lord all my life. I will sing praise to my God as long as I live. Wow! Would you want to praise God all your life too? Yes! We, together with all creation, can praise God for as long as we live. And so today, Psalm 104 invites us to look at God's wonderful creation and know that God is our great creator. Hey guys, and welcome to day one of VBS Music. Today's theme is God is the Marvelous Creator, and we will be singing a song about how marvelous God is. Yeah. 
much for joining us and we'll see you guys again tomorrow. Hello, oh, yeah. welcome to Virtual Vacation Bible School. Snack time. I'm Sister Dina Roth. Today we'll be doing God's marvelous creation. When you look around, everywhere you see, you see God's creation. Us, the animals, and the trees. Those are the things he created. Just a few of the things he created. So let's get started with our snack time. The items that we're going to need. Sour Patch Kids, watermelon. Animal crackers. She's a little biscuit. And white frosty, the Beyond Club. First, what we would do, we take our, our little caramelized biscuit, we take our white fluff and we spread it out evenly, or the best that you can do. And then we place our little sour patch. You can design it any way you want to. It's your creation. Just the way God created us, the way He wanted to. Put one of his little creations on there. And he does that. That's just one set. And we're going to do another one. Just spread it evenly over the biscuit. And you can decorate it. Any of the little animals you want to. And the style patch. And there we go. God's marvelous creation. And thank you for showing up for Major Road Vacation Bible School Snack Time. Bye-bye. Hello and welcome to Day 1 of Arts and Crafts of Virtual Vacation Bible School. And today it's gonna make a, we're going to make a dashboard. So look what I made. God is the marvelous creator. David praised God as the marvelous creator. He created everything. You go outside and look at all that God has created. He created you and he created me. Our Bible verse for today is Psalms 104 and 24. What does it say? Oh Lord, how manifold are thy works. In wisdom hast thou made them all. The earth is full of thy riches. And we're going to get started here. Our materials is a dashboard. I showed you. Two strings. Little beads. And our clothes pins. All right. Let's get started. So, I'm going to take our string. Take it through the hole. I'm going to tie a knot so it won't fall apart or fall off. And you see what I'm doing? This is such fun. I love arts and crafts. Not that I'm so crafty, but I try. And I'm going to take bead number one. Thread it through the hole. You see that? That's how you thread it through. Bead number two. Thread it in there. All right. Then we're going to take the other end. So we got so far. Put it through there. Tie another knot. See, before we do it, let's get all our beads on there. 
thread this side. See that? Second B. See that? Now we tie a knot. So the B won't fall off. God's creation. God the creator. Praise God for everything that God has created. All things beautiful. Get a knot tied here. Praise God also for what he created, like David did. David, praise God, his creator. I get a knot in here. So you can see what I'm doing. See what I'm trying to do. it up so you can see. Everybody got your materials? I'll tell you what, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this. Time this knot together. I think I'm in my string too short to tie my knot. So we're going gonna to lift a little bit more so we get our knot made. Now, We're getting it now. <laughs> We're getting it. And my name is Brenda Ross, your arts and create create arts and crafts. I'm not a creator. Arts and crafts teacher. And right now not getting this too good. I tell you what, if we don't get this, we're gonna let it go and you get the idea I'm trying to do. So then once you get it, look at this. See the top part and hold it back. And we gotta get the bottom together. So we'll put our string through the bottom hole. I'll do a little better with this. Got the nut tag. First knot, and this is the second knot, so I'm gonna come loose. we go. That's that one. Gotta get the other end. Just enjoy God's creation. He is the creator. There it says marvelous creator. He is marvelous. It's made everything. All right. So what we got going on? Let's see, let's turn it around. Let's see. 
guess what we're gonna do and by our mini clothes pins clip it this way you can hold it up but it'll fall downwards that's okay it's two three and four and what we're gonna write on here across here is look what God made Let's see look what I made look what I see right on there God helped you make it, didn't he? You can design it how you want to, write on it. Here's our. Look what I made. Look what you made. Here are clothes pins. Get it up together. So you can you can put like our, today we're gonna put our memory verse on here, our Bible verse. Psalms 104 and 24. There you go. <laughs> Look what I made. You can show your friends, hang it up in your room. Show your family. Look what I made. Vacation Bible school. Day one, Psalms 104 and 24. Let's read that again. O oh Lord, how manifold are thy works. In wisdom hast thou made them all. The earth is full of thy riches. All right. That's all that we have for day one of Vacation Bible School. Day two. We'll see what we met on day two. Remember, we raise two strings, top and bottom, of our dashboard. Put the little beads on there. Kind of decorate a little bit. Like I said, you can draw little pictures of flowers, God's creation, what God made. You know, that second string at the bottom with our clothes pins and our Bible verse. And this is our finished product. You can add, put other things on here. Put pictures on here, pictures of your pet, if you have pets, or some more Bible verses that you might want to learn. All right. This ends day one of our arts and crafts class. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. guys and welcome to day one of BBS Recreation. Today we're going to be playing Paint the Rainbow. You will form a circle and you will be attempting to paint a rainbow in front of you by rolling the cube in a specific order. Each number represents a color of the rainbow. One being red, two being orange, three being yellow, four being green, five being blue, and six being purple. The first kid will roll the game cube. If they roll any number other than one, then they will just pass the cube on to the next person. If you roll a one, then you may grab a red strip of paper and pass the cube to the next person. On your next turn, you will be attempting to roll a two. Each player must paint the rainbow in the correct order. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. And you will continue the play until each kid has completed his rainbow. Now, I will be giving you a demonstration of how to play the game and will be attempting to create and paint my own rainbow.
now successfully completed my rainbow. So you will do the same, run on the die, trying to attempt to get numbers one through six in order with your friends or your family members. So have fun with it and make that rainbow. What is your favorite color in the rainbow? Mine is blue. Without God, not even colors or people would exist. He is the marvelous creator. And David praised him because of that. We can praise him too. I hope you all have enjoyed our VBS recreation today and that you will take this lesson and carry it with you. And have an awesome rest of the day and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, now we're going to pray a prayer if you would like to ask Jesus into your life. Repeat this prayer after me if you truly mean it in your heart. This is a very important decision you are making today. Repeat after me. Lord Jesus, come into my heart. Come into my life. Be my Lord and my Savior. I admit that I am a sinner and ask you to forgive me of all my sins, all the bad things I've ever done or ever will do. Give me the power to live a Christian life. In Jesus' name, Amen. Thanks for joining us on the first night of virtual VBS. We hope you have enjoyed and will join us again tomorrow at 12.30 p.m.